Mike check Joel, check one, check two, coming up tonight on Facebook Live. Oh, okay. Um, Chief Meteorologist Joel Barnes here, by the way. Thanks for joining us uh, on our Facebook Live. Uh, we're going to be Facebook Live and YouTube Live for now on covering severe thunderstorms and possible uh, tornadic storms that will be moving through West Tennessee. Just going to load up our graphics for you here and uh, give people a minute to uh, log on to our Facebook Live. Um, uh, we are going to be live on our news page. That's uh, WBBJ Facebook um, page, not the weather page, but we are going to share it to our weather page as well as we'll start to get things going on my page as well as Moe's and Jordan's and Brian's when he's in. So if you're watching us right now in downtown Jackson, it's pretty warm and it is humid enough that we still have a threat for some of these storms to come through tonight. We do have a tornado watch that is out that does include all of West Tennessee. That's out till 11 p.m. We're watching a couple different lines of storms of concern tonight. The main storm that we had been watching was this one which is really weakened significantly. It had a tornado warning tag on it earlier north of Memphis. We also have this other line, which is developing up here to the north near Mayfield. This one not really showing much for rotation, but we could see some hail in that line, hail with that storm. And then we've also had a, a cell just to the southeast of Savannah. That one's now into Mississippi, but this is the storm Mo and uh, Jordan were covering during our 530 newscast. But looking at it right now, I don't see anything on it that looks uh, severe or anything that's of concern concern, but watch earlier. See these two purple slots? Those are large clusters of hail. So uh, we did have large hail at least up to, I would say, probably golf ball uh, in some of those hail clusters that did come on by. If it continues the same track to the east, I think this cell probably stays south of Jackson, um, but it could impact places like Pinson, Hatchie, Whiteville. Here's a look at some of the other places that it may go through. Henderson, Meaden. The storm's moving about 40 miles an hour as it moves off to the east tonight. So if it keeps the same direction and same um, storm size, that's where it's going to be heading. I'll show you another track that if it does move up to the north could impact us here in Jackson. When they issued the tornado warning, you see that bright green, that rotation right as it crossed the Mississippi River, but as it moved towards the radar in Memphis, just really lost its rotation. So um, if it's trying to spin on up, it'll be into this area. So this is the area that we're watching. Not seeing anything right now that uh, shows that there's going to be a tornado. This is south of Mason, north of Oakland. So uh, if it takes a more of a wider northeasterly path, the timing of Jackson looks like sometime uh, between 715 and 730. That's when it will be showing up. So again, uh, right now that storm's not a big problem, but we're going to watch it. It could become stronger quickly up to the north. We've got lines of storms from New Madrid all the way up. Uh, looks like to the west of Madisonville, even into Kentucky. So this line, uh, each one of these little purple areas you see here is potential hail. That's definitely large hail where they got the severe thunderstorm warning north of fair dealing, but it's getting awful close to Union City, Dixon. This line's going to slowly move southward. I don't think there's much of a tornado concern with this line, at least right now. I'm not seeing any rotation, but we are seeing is uh, clusters of hail that are developing. Down south, there's multiple severe thunderstorm warnings, one heading into Tupelo, massive hail, probably um, bigger than golf ball size hail with that storm. This one did have close to tennis ball size. See when it goes black there, north of Red Bay, heading over into Russellville. And if we kind of zoom things out, look at all these storms firing up one into Mississippi, just one after another. Each one of these clusters probably going to produce hail tonight. Again, if there is a tornado concern, it's probably going to be more into West Tennessee. We've got a little bit more what we call shear, a little bit more rotation, but they've got more energy down south. So that's why they're seeing a lot more thunderstorms than we are here. So usually to produce tornadoes, you need energy and you need rotation. Um, today, we've got more rotation. They've got more energy. Now, remember that when we had those really big storms and all those tornadoes, this, the energy was high and the rotation was high. That's why we were under that level four for severe weather. We just got lucky that all those tornadoes fizzled out and moved up to the northwest as they approached the Mississippi River. I think we're going to be pretty lucky again tonight. I'm again, we may get a rotating storm, but um, the majority of the storms are going to stay to the south. We'll see what this northern line does. That's something we're going to be watching over the next couple of hours here in the Storm Team Weather Center. Our one little lone supercell that we were watching. We're also going to keep an eye on it, but it's really weakened. Um, Futurecast does show a lot of development still possible tonight. It's got that supercell still going. We'll see about that at uh, 7, 8 o'clock. It's got another one up to the north, but I think this is going to be more of a line, the, that uh, stuff that we're watching up to the north, but it keeps storms around 
8 30 9 o'clock this may be a little late keeping the storms around till 10 11 p.m. but that's why the storm prediction center has the tornado watch out till 11 p.m. they think there's still a chance for some of these storms to be developing even till 11 11 30 before they move out of savannah again when you get setups like this it's kind of difficult to tell exactly when and where the storms are going to develop those little individual cells. Um, this is what that storm did look, look, look like as it got close to the radar there in Memphis. This is from the Millington Fire Department showing you that uh, rotation, this wall cloud. That's where it was lowering. That's why they issued that tornado warning. There's a lot of storm spotters on these storms tonight that are kind of keeping a track of them um, as they come on by. But uh, right now, I don't think we're looking at any sort of imminent threat for us here in West Tennessee. We'll re rack this one more time for the people just joining now. Again, we are on our Facebook Live. Um, Jordan, are you are you mic'd up as well? I am. I don't know if my mic. Yep, uh, I got okay. you in my cool. ears. Thank you, bud. Did you get us on our uh, Storm Team Weather page on the Facebook uh, as well? Let me pull it up. Facebook has been kind of slow today. All right, so Jordan's going to work on getting our live coverage, which right now is on our, our WBBJ um, news page. We're going to also try to get our Facebook Live for now on shared on Storm Team Weather. Um, I'll have it on my meteorologist Joel Barnes page when we get severe weather, like tornado warnings or when we're doing just tracking weather before one, before the tornado warning gets to our area. Sometimes we'll do our live coverage online when it's a little further west of us. Plus, if there's just basic thunderstorm warning, that aren't tornado warned that don't give us uh, you know the enough concern to break in and cover live TV. Um, we're going to try to track more of those on our Facebook Live as well as our YouTube page. By the way, if you're watching us on Facebook Live, you haven't done so yet, um, we have a YouTube page now, a WBBJ page. We've had the page for a while, but now we're going to start putting our severe storm coverage on our YouTube page. So you can watch us live now on YouTube, uh, Facebook. Also, um, you, if you have a Roku, if you do get local channels on Roku, you can watch our coverage on that. We're going to try to get uh, live on more um, uh, uh, more coverage areas for live broadcasts when we're not on TV because we can't always break in and cover severe thunderstorms um, th just the entire time. We get a lot of those in West Tennessee. So our live TV coverage is predominantly going to be for tornado warnings. But again, we're going to try to keep you updated online uh, as many ways as possible. Um, just for a lot of people that are say, hey, I got a big thunderstorm out right now. There's no tornado warning and you're not getting any coverage or that you'd like to get from WBBJ. So again, a lot of Facebook lives coming up and our YouTube channel is also going to be beneficial for you there. All right, so to recap, we've got a line of thunderstorms up to the north. We've got uh, that supercell, which is really sheared on out. Sometimes when you get a lot of shear, low energy environments like what we have here in West Tennessee, a supercell tries to get going and it just gets ripped apart. I think that's what's happening with this cell right now. Nothing here looks anything close to severe. Even the, I don't even see much, maybe a little hail there uh, along the interstate. So we're going to continue to watch this one. One. Watch about an hour ago, though. See all these purple? Those were large hail uh, stones that were coming by. There was even a little bit more rotation. Again, and here's the general time track for this storm. Probably Henderson close to 715. I think this cell stays south of Jackson. We'll see. There's a chance it gets a little stronger over the next hour. But it, the, what I'm seeing right now, it is really losing steam and uh, really not seeing much at all for rotation. There's the rotation concern, though. If it does, it's north of Oakland right now. Here's where we got that little inflow notch. So this is where we're going to watch potential um, if it does try to produce a tornado or even uh, enough rotation for a tornado warning. Now, if it does continue the same direction, we're looking at Jackson sometime. If it moves up to the north a little bit, which I think it probably stays south of Jackson, um, it'll be 715, 730. So it gives us about an hour or so till it shows up in Jackson. Right now, I'm a little bit more concerned with this northern line. It seems to be a little bit more organized. And you notice we've got three severe thunderstorm warnings out with this line. This doesn't look like it's going to be a tornadic concern, um, but these ones near New Madra, they're going to continue to drop southward as the front itself gets a little closer. And that could bring these storms down to Union City, uh, maybe uh, the, Par the Paris area here within the next hour, hour and a half as this line drops southward. Um, so we're watching for some hail development maybe here through New Madrid, Hickman. So we'll watch that northern line. Uh, the most of the activity though right now is down into Mississippi. Look, they got hail makers, huge hail making thunderstorms near Tupelo, one south of Batesville. They got another one, Russellville. So these, uh, these hail makers are just lining up. Look at all, each one of these little individual pop up little supercells are going to try to produce hail tonight. Um, for us, it looks like the main concern for these storms is all going to stay south of us. 
So um, I don't think these are going to be much of a problem. We're watching this one northeast of Memphis, and we've got that other one up to the north. One more time on our future cast. Um, it looks like we've got a cluster of a couple of storms that still are possible. These, I think, are looking a little bit more ominous than what I think is going to happen tonight, but this is a possibility. So we're going to continue to watch these tonight. Look, continuing 8, 9, 10 o'clock, maybe till 11 or midnight before they clear on out. I think the threat's going to wrap up for most of us by 11 p.m. We're going to continue to keep an eye on uh, any of these storms that do develop tonight. Here's one more look at the cell that it was uh, north of Memphis. Um, we are going to continue to track things though tonight in the Storm Team Weather Center. Look for more Facebook Lives or more on our YouTube channel. Obviously, if there's a tornado warning, we'll break in and cover it live. Uh, we'll have some isolated TV reports throughout the night as well. Stay with WBBJ.